767 million people currently living below the international poverty line. And last week, Brett McGregor joined hundreds of other Kiwis to eat and drink on only $2.85 per day to raise awareness and funds for Tear Funds Live Below the Line campaign. And he's here now to tell us how it went. Morning, Brett. Good morning. All right, first, what made you want to do this? Um, I think uh, in our household at home we're always thinking about what we can do to help the other and, and, and this opportunity came along and it was really just about, for me and Tracy, my wife, of course, we did it together, yeah. was just about raising awareness, getting people to start thinking about, I think from my perspective, um, you know, what they're eating at home, their portion sizes, how much they're spending on each meal. Because when, I mean, you hit on it, 767 million people, mm. $2.85 a day is the international poverty line, so New Zealand dollars, that's what we had. And it is tough. Yeah. What tough for many. What did you miss the most when you were doing the challenge? Easy. Protein. Okay. My brain just did not work in the same way whatsoever. Um, I, I am potting now and doing other things as well in my spare time. And what I found was my brain and my hands weren't connecting the same way. I was very hungry, but it was the protein. Amazing. So, so what were you eating? Um, day one, uh, we ate, uh, went through some fried rice. So it was rice. You could eat the rice, the pasta, soup but not making soup. So it was too expensive for me to go and buy a pumpkin to make a pumpkin soup, mm. but I could buy a can of pumpkin soup and add water and make it last a little bit longer. So you are buying the cheapest ingredients you can find as in a one kilo rice for a dollar or a pack of pasta for 79 cents, which I'm not even sure if it's actually pasta. Right. right. It doesn't taste the same. Right. Um, you know, it might fill you up for half an hour, but in uh, 45 minutes' time, you're hangry again and looking for the next meal. And on that, you say you're hungry. Mm. You were hungry all the time. And so did you think mentally you were as sharp and...? Oh, no way. Absolutely, absolutely no way. I had a day on, on the Thursday where basically I just stayed at home. Um, didn't want to go out, couldn't go out because you're watching people obviously eating or drinking a coffee, doing all those types of things. But um, I just had nothing left. And if it wasn't for Tracy kind of egging me through the whole situation, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have got there, I don't think. Right. Wow. So we were lucky. We, we joined together. So we had a little bit, we had a little bit more to spend every day, $5.70 yeah. or whatever yeah. it is. So I feel you could feed more people if you, were, uh, if you had a collective environment. If everyone came together and pulled their money, it would be easier to feed 200 people on $200 than it is to feed one person on $2. Yeah. Well, and, and I was thinking about that. That $2.85 is not going to get you much food. But then on top of that, you've actually got to get to the supermarket where the specials are. You've got to go to the places to get your food, haven't you? Well, and this is where it's a lot easier for us, whereas in other circumstances that would never happen. Mm. You know, so, and I mean... The whole idea behind uh, Tear Fund and Living Below the Line is, is really just about empowering people um, for sustainable um, you know, uh, development of their own um, situation. So we want to get people out of the poverty line, out of the generational poverty line to kind of make a difference. And one way that Tear Fund does this is simply by um, giving people the tools of which to um, you know, change the way that maybe they, they, they live in the sense of banking. Mm -hmm. So, if, sorry, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. No, here. no, no, no this is good. But yeah. the thing is, like, uh, if you are living in a community where there is no bank, you can't get to a bank, there's not an ATM, and your money is just sitting around the home, who knows where that money goes, right? Yeah. So what they've decided to do is they, if you can educate people to come together, whereas you might have uh, a community of 20 people, and every time they have a meeting once a week, they might put in a little bit of money, 10 cents here, 15 cents there, a dollar there. But collectively, that builds a fund of money, of which then they can go in and loan for other personal expenses, like getting their kids to school, right. having decent meal, but ensuring that they've got money to actually live. So uh -huh. implement yeah. change makes, you know. Yeah. Uh, and the Tear Fund project, obviously very important, you know, to society. Is that why you decided to do it? I, yes, um, yes and no. I think uh, for me, or well, for our house, we're always trying to think of, you know, ways in which we can make life better for even one person or whatever. And many of us think the same way. I think I got involved with this first off just to, to see what it was going to be right. like and to raise awareness. So yeah. it was a really simple uh, act from us, which we found extremely difficult. Now, you've got a son, is it Jack? Yes, yeah, Jack, yeah. Did he do the <laughs> challenge too? Um, no. Um, $2.85 I don't think would get his Ribena through the day, so no. Um, no, he, he, I couldn't even expect him to do it. School lunches alone, mm. yeah. you know, sending him to school with nothing would not be an appropriate thing to do. So um, it's changed my food world. No wastage, you know, right. buy what you need, cook mm -hmm. what you have in the refrigerator, don't throw it into the landfill, all those types of things.
um, will make a difference, you know? You know what I think um, that the I'm hearing from you, the biggest thing here is not just that you had no energy, but if you think about people who don't have a car, who are in poverty, so you've got to walk everywhere, so you've got no energy in the first place, no food to fill your belly, really, and then you're walking. You, you're really not on a level playing field with anyone, are you, at that oh, point? Oh, absolutely you not. Know? Even if you're labouring, you imagine eating yeah. that per day and then going to do a 40-hour week or a 50-hour or 60-hour week labouring your energy levels it's, it is incredible yeah. like it's incredible how do you get on top of that really tough yeah i think collectively collectively yes yeah. that's, that's been a good word for the day and uh, i heard you made did you make a roast meal when your mum visited oh. on this do you know yes uh, my, did you <laughs> cheat? How did no that i didn't cheat there was no way that i cheated but my mother came and she was heading away and she was like oh Every time she comes, can you cook us a meal? Certainly can, Mum, what do you want? So she wants vegetables and, and a roast. So I cooked her that. She very much enjoyed eating that whilst watching us <laughs> living below the poverty line <laughs> eating pasta. Now, I'm not saying that our meal was a really bad meal or anything like that, and people live like this all the time, but to sit next across from someone <laughs> Doing what she was doing. Like was that, that photo showing like right this. there. You look really unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what people living know, you below. You think she looks happy? Yes, yeah. and that's what people living below the poverty line do, though, don't they? They sit and watch other people eat well, those meals. So there you yeah. go. Good and lesson. it even makes me change the way that I view getting a coffee in the morning because if I have two or three coffees in a day, it's three times as yeah. much money as I would have had to Brilliant. Pay. Brett, we've got to go. Thank you so yeah, much. You. Well yeah, done. Awesome. The uh, Live Below the Line challenge may have wrapped last week, but there's still time to donate. Just go to livebelowtheline.org.nz and you can search for Brett's name in Find a Friend search box. Yes, That's we you. can all help collectively. Yes. Thank you Absolutely. very much. Thank nice. you, Brian.